Good morning! Welcome back to my channel. Today I would be explaining a little bit about my day as an online MBA student, my experience, how my grades are, what kind of classes I'm taking. So I hope you guys enjoy my video. Look at that beautiful view. So, now we're gonna make breakfast. I have my Cheerios here. I honestly don't wanna cook today, so I'm just going on the go. And I use, unfortunately, lactate, no uh, lactose, so. Usually when I drink regular milk, it gives me a bad, um, like, acid reflux. I don't know. It's just my tongue hurts. So, I am not drinking regular milk. Then, my secret ingredient, what I do is, you must try it. Honey. So... I just sprinkle a little honey on the top and it tastes wonderful. So you must try it. And then obviously my step block because you know how ants find their way through. Now we dig in. I'm about to be heading out. It's 7.30. I'm almost late. Alright, let's go. So I have to grab my bag. I always take my bottle of water. Woo! I don't think I'm taking lunch today, so today I'll be buying something. Okay, turn off the lights, and let's go. I have my phone, I have my headphones, cool, we should be good. Alright, so we just arrived to work, it's 7.50am. Um, I usually get here around mostly 10 minutes before I start just to, you know, make sure anything that happens in traffic, you know, it's good to be safe. Eight hours later. All right, so now we're at my office. I was thinking of doing some schoolwork. Ugh, I'm telling you, today has been a long day. It's all right. So I'm going to be working on my ISM class. The class is about business analytics and its applications. So I have to do a business predictive model. I have to gather the data. They provide us with a data set. And then we have to briefly describe how your data set will be used in predictive modeling. And then we have to go ahead with RapidMinder and we have to create a prediction model using a decision tree and according to that we have to go ahead and explain our decision tree model and screenshot how the process was designed and provide screenshots of the design of the decision tree model this is the rapid minor program this program is used as explained in the business analytics applications class, and it works as, as a program to better predict future situations for any company. So according to the data set that you provide this program, which would be placed in the read CSV operator, you want to go and see the data. The first thing you would see is the results. As soon as you pull up the results, you're able to see let me just so you have an idea let me just go back perfect so as soon as you upload the information or the data set your the first thing you would see as soon as you hit play is the diff different attributes or the examples in this case see you can see season age childish diseases accidents or trauma if the person had any surgical interventions, if that person had any high fevers and how many they had in the last year, the frequency of how much they consume alcohol, if it is once a week, 
those smoking habits, if they occasionally daily or never smoke, the number of hours they sit, and the diagnosis. This uh, data set is from patients who've had a normal or altered diagnosis from their fertility tests. If that diagnosis has come normal or altered. So according to this, the clinic would better predict future patients according to what the patients have answered in this particular data set. It would better predict future patients and how their diagnosis will be looking like. Maybe it, the, this could help clinics better predict the amount of people that will be coming in throughout the seasons or how many patients would have a normal or altered uh, diagnosis or it can help let's say um, create new treatments for those patients according to those answers that they have provided so as soon as you press statistics you're able to see the visualization so the good thing is that this creates a visualization for you and place which type of chart you wanted to see so let's say you want to see, to see histogram so the histogram you have to add another color so let's say i wanted to see the diagnosis according to the season so as soon as i hit that let's see if it does it let's say i want to see say age for example and then i add the diagnosis so then you see you will be able to see according to that normal or altered diagnosis you can also see on pi the same thing you can choose whichever variable you can put the numbers of our sitting but this you can do aggregate data so you're able to see it a little more compressed but it just depends what you're looking for and what the company did needs to see to be able to better predict their data or whatever decision they want to take according to this data this helps them as well so it has a lot of operators as you could see so right now i'm doing the uh, decision tree so i have to go ahead and results and i'm able to see the graph and the decision tree you see so i can fix this so it will look better Okay. But yeah, this is just a quick view of how my assignments are and what I have to do with this program. It's very helpful when you have an idea and you know the intern is there for you. So you can go ahead and YouTube and follow through with those um, examples that they give you. Okay, so this was just a quick tour of how the Rapid Minor works and a few assignments that I'm doing currently. Please, if you have any questions, make sure to comment down below and subscribe for more videos. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.